Hello everybody, it is Maglan. I'm here for my favorite set of the first wave of 2017 um, here. So we have the Y-Wing Starfighter and this is set 75172. It contains 691 pieces um, and it currently retails in Europe for 70 euros. Uh, the set is ages 8 plus. Um, it is themed row 1 and contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minifigures. Um, so right off the bat, this is, as I mentioned, one of my favorite sets, but then then again, I really do enjoy the Y-Wings in Star Wars. So, I may be a little biased, but this is a really good set. Uh, there's definitely a lot of improvements over the 2012 one, um, but I will compare it to the 2007 one, which I have here next to me, and there are pros and cons to both, so it's it's really how you feel uh, about Lego and how you like your sets to look like. It could be like um, greebling and stickers, but I'll get into that in a second. So I'll get to that later in the review. So right off the bat, the set includes um, this small thing here, uh, five minifigures and the Y-Wing. I did really enjoy the Y-Wing build. Um, it's a great build. I had a lot of fun, took my time. Um, I don't really rush sets, but this one, um, I naturally went through it pretty easily. It was good paced. Um, I'll show you guys some stuff uh, later in the in the review that were paint to build, but uh, the set is, you know, it has a good build. Um, now, looking straight at, it, at the color, I did feel like the past Y-Wing was much more gray um, and white, and this one is really extremely gray and just has a little bit of white and yellow here at the front uh, with these things matching up as well. Um, and this one has some brown, which I I don't know if this was in the 2012 one, but I know that it was in the UCS Y-Wing, which I personally don't mind as much as I could, um, but I did feel like that was kind of um, annoying. I, I would have replaced this with maybe some white uh, tubes. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the review. Uh, we have five minifigures, first one being Admiral Radis. And this set not only is great, but it has great minifigures. Admiral Radis here is uh, a very good minifigure, very nicely printed, has a really good color. There's nothing wrong with him. Um, and definitely this is what LEGO did nicely in this set, is that not only the set is nice, but they also put desirable minifigures. I mean. Admiral Radis was possibly one of the coolest characters for me in Rogue One because he was just like really getting involved and really did enjoy the character. Next up is the Y-Wing pilot and he's nice. We get him in a blue jumpsuit kind of like in the U-Wing. Uh, he is a bit different I think. Let me just check on the box. Yeah, Y-Wing pilot, he's a bit different. Obviously people say that they complain that he could have been gold leader or given him like an orange jumpsuit. But I think it's nice um, because, you know, this set is themed Rogue One, so we could get him from Blue Squadron, so that's nice. Uh, next up is the Rebel Astromech Droid. Now, we haven't seen this guy um, in many sets. In fact, he is... I think he might be in that Hoth set, but he might be a tad bit different, so... Uh, it's nice to get him, and always nice to get new Astromechs and so on. Uh, next up is Moroff. I think is his name. He's like this sort of like white Chewbacca type of thing. Um, now in the earlier uh, Rogue One uh, movie, this guy had a pretty big role. He was like, he was as much in the movie as uh, Sherrod or Bays, like the Will Guardians were. Um, he was actually on Scarif in the battle, um, and he was in Jedha. If you guys saw him in the movie, that's what he appears. He appears in Jedha, um, and. I think that's the only scene you see him in, but in the earlier scripts he was supposed to be all around in Scarif and fighting with the rebels and all that stuff, so he was supposed to be a pretty big uh, character in Rogue One, but now he's just like a really brief background character, so I could see why they put him in this set, um, like right now it doesn't really have anything to do with, I mean he's just a cool character, but earlier in Rogue One he was supposed to be something pretty big, so I could see why he's in this set. And finally, we do get another Stormtrooper. Now, this is the original trilogy slash Rogue One Stormtrooper. It's always nice to do get more. Um, so there's nothing special with him. He's just 
another cool stormtrooper. Alright guys, without getting too carried away, let's get straight into the review of this set right now. Alright, so getting straight into the Y-Wing here, uh, it's a great set, and we'll start off with the fi my favorite part of the set, and it is this front part right here. Uh, so definitely you need, you need to like move the cannon aside if you guys want to open the cockpit, that's one of the cons I found and something I prefer on the 2007 model is that they had a much better turret than this one. Um, but otherwise, I mean, very simple cockpit. As you can see, there's nothing too complex with it, nothing too special. There you go. So it definitely has a great look to it. And this turret turns 360, and then if we turn it on... Actually, I'll just get to the... Yeah, I'll do the underbelly first, because... Um, it has some landing gear here on the sides. And this is something I did enjoy. I don't know if they did this on the 2012 version. Never really cared much for that one set. Um, but this one... This one did look promising. So it does have some landing gear, which gives it a really nice uh, appearance when it's just posed like this. And except for that, it does have two holes right here. Obviously, these are spring-loaded shooters. I have no clue where the missiles are. I'm not lying. I have no clue. Uh, there, but there's a pair that comes with it. Um, I do have one here on the side, but it's not supposed to be used. This for something else in the set, but um, yeah, I mean, you do get spring-loaded missiles, and then obviously they just shoot like so. So it is it is nice to have some spring-loaded missiles sometimes. And uh, what I do like about this set is that they kind of hid all this like ugly stuff under it, so you don't have to to look at it. Um, now here's part of the set you enjoy and it's this part right here and this this in the past version had a lot of greebling and this one it has its different type of greebling it has just as much just different so but I'll compare that in a second our astromech droid can enter nicely with the pilot right here um, and then here there is another fun feature you get these two of these proton missiles and uh, they just fit right in there, like this. And here you have um, this uh, turning piece, and you just yeah. So what you so what's nice with it is that you can put the missiles in like this, and then turn it a bit, and then put the other one, and then turn it a bit, and then if I turn it more, um, the missiles are gonna just fall down. So it has these proton missiles bomb type of thing. So that's that's a really fun feature, um, a really nice fun feature I did enjoy. Now the past version used to have the flight fire missiles in here and in here. I didn't like that because it kind of ruined the, the look of the set, but this one really did nail it at putting the missiles under over here and having really nice detailing going on over here. So here are the engines, as you can see, do have one sticker here and then one sticker here. They are the identical stickers, um, and it did really a nice job of having this entire engine part uh, nicely built. Um, it, it, it is really, really nicely built. Like when you look at this, it really looks nice, uh, and that's something I really did enjoy. Is because the past model they try to add fun features to it, but they kind of sacrificed a lot of like the good looks of it for that. And this time they really just like made a nice, um, they added just one fun feature that's like really worth it is this one and then for the rest they just like really built the Y-Wing and then they added some missiles under here and did this little turret that turns which is kind of ugly um, but they really did nail it. Now quickly I wanted to compare it to the previous, previous model so as you can see this is the one I uh, personally preferred and it is a tad bit, it is two studs longer, but this one is the same, yeah, they are the same uh, length, uh, width. So when comparing these two, what I do feel like that they did here, and try to move the camera, um, 
here they had a lot of greebling and here they also did a lot of the build and greebling and all that stuff to have a really good look at the Y-Wing but they had these missiles which kind of I mean if you don't look at them they're all they don't really mind and uh, it really had some really nice detail going on and they had this amazing 360 turret that turns 360 and then up and down and so on now the cockpit was completely tiled up very smooth so this this one right here is nice and smooth on the sides but has studs um, it has this different turret which is much worse but then again it has just as much greebling it's just different it has different type of greebling going on over here um, something that the older model did better is that it really nailed this part of the ship and this here um, is stickers so they just like threw in some stickers and then just you know didn't care much more about it so I did feel like Lego could have gone uh, a bit further with the engines they could have done something a little bit more with the engines like they did here like here was here half the build was building the engines here um, building the engines was just like the last thing you do so that is something to take into consideration um, definitely when I look at both Y-Wings like this um, I mean it's really up to you which one you feel that is better um, I would say that definitely if you guys are looking for a more tiled up and uh, greebled Y-Wing but very uh, not like really strong and compact go for this one uh, if you guys are looking for a new Y-Wing uh, that has a bunch of fun features and still looks amazingly great and has really nice detail, uh, then go for this one. I would personally go for both because I know they're both great sets. Um, but definitely, I mean, there's there's no big reason except if you guys really prefer by looks this one to go get it. They're just two very different looking ships. Um, they do both have this bombing mechanism, it's something I really like. Um, and from the back, they do have both decent looks. Um, so, yeah. So this one did much better here on the back than this one. So th there's pros and cons all over the set. I mean, this one has a really, really ugly thing right here. And this one just nailed it having a really nice uh, detail. So that's about it for the review. Let's move on onto the little tray thing. So like most fighters this year and the past year, LEGO has been giving us very kindly some small builds with it, something I did complain about in the past years, and I'm kind of happy this time. Uh, so here's what you do, you just take a minifigure with this thing, and you have a wrench on the side, on this side you have nothing, and it, you have this crane, and from what I'm looking at the box, you have this here on the back. Um, yeah. So you can, he, you can carry these missiles and and then you can also just pull them off. Um, and you have a little sticker there, right there. If you guys want to uncode or find out what this means, maybe it's on this side, I don't know. So yeah, and what you can do is carry the proton or proton bombs and torpedoes and whatnot. And once you're carrying them, you can just you know, bring them here in the back of the X-wing, and there's no fun feature where you like store this inside the Y-wing. You can just use up these two flick missiles for um, the head of the Y-wing, which is over there, and then uh, use these two proton torpedoes um, for what I just showed you the fun feature right there. So it's just extra ammunition for uh, the Y-wing's uh, fun features in a way. So, it's always nice to get this small build, it's going to look good if you guys make a Rebel base mock or whatnot. So, uh, it's nice. It's a nice little build. Alright, so to have some concluding thoughts on this LEGO set, definitely 70 euros is probably going to be 60, 65 dollars, at most 70 dollars. So that means that the highest price LEGO would make you pay in theory for this set would be $70 considering it has 691 pieces if I can recall correctly. Um, it's definitely a great deal. I mean you do get some pretty desirable minifigures uh, and Morad is going to be the big draw. 
you guys didn't get the U-Wing, you're going to get uh, a Blue Squadron Pilot. Uh, if you guys really wanted this guy, um, I don't know, what's his name, Mo Moroff? If you guys really wanted him or thought he was cool, uh, you can get him in this set. So, I mean, the minifigures is not like the most desirable minifigures. I mean, they could have added K2SO in this set if they really wanted to sell it better. Or a Krennic or any of those like really expensive set minifigures. Um, that could have made uh, the set worth more. But considering the amount of pieces you get, um, let's just put this set at $65. Just like... Uh, just like as a thought it's probably gonna be 70 probably gonna be 60 maybe less $65 you get uh, 10 cents per piece so that's the piece count is correct uh, you do get an amazing set um, now if you guys an amazing set whether you guys enjoy Y wings or not um, you get a stormtrooper uh, blue squadron pilot uh, radis this dude and Astromix, that's five minifigures, my five minifigures which are yeah, pretty much exclusive to this set. Uh this this guy comes in only one other set and this is the cheapest except the battle pack. Yeah. No, this this guy this guy isn't really that exclusive anymore. So you're definitely getting what like for the price you're paying, you're definitely getting something really decent. So this is definitely one of the greatest sets uh in the wave in my opinion because you're getting something big something nice for the right amount of uh, money that lego would make you pay for a normal lego set so that's my final opinion really go get this set if you guys are really into this uh rogue one y-wing and rebel alliance type of thing if you guys are more old republic or like um yeah galactic republic this set would still appeal a bit because we do see y-wings in uh in star wars Alright guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching this LEGO Star Wars set review. Please leave a comment if you guys enjoyed it. And otherwise, I will see you guys next time here on the Magnus channel for more LEGO Star Wars 2017 reviews. Bye-bye. The Dark Side.